Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's virtual event, Mastering Your Microsoft 365 and SharePoint Investment, Moving from Rapid Adoption to Sensible Maturity. We are joined by Rez Kamis, and he will be joined by Vlad Katrinescu. Rez, are you there? I am. Hello, Rez. All right, very good. Please go ahead and start sharing your screen while I introduce you to our audience today. Rez is VP of Technology at CreoSpark. And as I mentioned, he will be joined uh, later by Vlad Katronescu, an evangelist and sales and product support evangelist from Valo. Gentlemen, welcome to the event today. Rez, tell us more. Perfect. Um, just can you confirm that you can see my screen? We're good to go. We cannot see your screen. Okay, let me just try one more time. Ah, looks like something is happening. Very good, all right, looks like, there we go. Perfect. Rez Camus from CreoSpark, all right, very, very good. Please tell us more. Okay, perfect. Uh, welcome everyone to our session on superpowering your corporate intranet using Microsoft Teams. Before we begin, I just wanted to give a quick intro on what we're talking about here today. Being in the Microsoft 365 digitization business, we're helping tons of organizations modernize their workplaces. We're seeing more and more that businesses are using Microsoft Teams as their main collaboration tool, as well as the latest and greatest modern cloud technology that brings together document management, chat, meetings, callings, devices, apps, and other solutions all in one place. However, until now, corporate intranets have lived primarily as separate browser-based applications. In this session, we're gonna to talk to you about the Microsoft 365 Digital Workplace Modernization Strategy and how you need to have an understanding of how um, your organizational content and basically making sure that it's communication-based and collaboration-based and understanding the difference between the two. At the end, we want you to understand how using Microsoft Teams as the hub for all of your organizational teamwork in combination with Valo Connect can serve both these communication and collaboration needs and superpower your corporate intranet. So a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Nerez Kamis. I'm VP technology at a company called CreoSpark where we do Microsoft 365 consulting. Also VP technology at a company called CloudSpark where we develop Teams-based apps. And we also have on the call, Vlad Kastronescu, who is the sales exec executive and product evangelist at Valo and also a Microsoft MVP. I wanted to start with some common scenarios that we see our clients struggling with during their digital modernization um, journey when using Microsoft 365. First, organizations just don't know where to start. There's so many services that you get with Microsoft 365, including SharePoint, Teams, OneDrive, Planner, Projects, and lots of others. When should an organization use one service over another? Also, what services come with their licenses? How should they organize their content and migrate to these services? Second, especially during the pandemic, organizations adopted Microsoft Teams and SharePoint without any upfront planning. So the solution missed the boat on the upfront planning for business and technical governance. It lacks the security and compliance needing, needed. And in the end, um, their Microsoft 365 environment tends to be misconfigured from a governance perspective. Next, there's low adoption because there's a lack of understanding of all the tool sets, no training or change management for their employees. Furthermore, organizations are inundated with so many repositories they wanna move from, and they don't have any strategic migration or decommissioning strategy for these source repositories. There's also an overabundance of communications and conversational tools, but no formal guidance on what tools to use. And then they end up back in email, and that's what we don't want to happen. So how do we overcome these scenarios? There's lots of suggestions here, but let's call out some of the important ones. First, we need a clear vision that describes what's important and how the objectives will be achieved. We need fresh, engaging, accurate content organized in a way that makes it easy to reliably find when the user needs it. We need business and technical governance, and I keep on talking about governance, so people know that they can trust the content and everybody understands their responsibilities, along with the tools clarification on when to use what. We need to define what tools should be used, when, and by whom. 
we need to ensure the Microsoft 365 implementation has a focus on what the business is all about. Their clients, their employees, their customers, their products. We need to organize the Microsoft 365 services to optimize employee productivity. We need to reduce clicks and personalize it so that employees can get to what they need and when to quickly. We need a search that just works. Content is organized in a way that makes it easily found and search experience are curated to ensure that relevant information is presented to them in meaningful ways. Obviously, we need training, adoption, change management, all that stuff goes together. And lastly, we need an ongoing attention to metrics. We need to provide evidence to our executives that the Microsoft 365 services being deployed are actually used, useful, and providing value. So I love whenever I'm starting an engagement, especially for the digital modernization journey, I always bring this slide to my clients and talking about these four important buckets. And this is really key in the planning and design stages of your deployment. So the first being information architecture. architecture. So when you're deploying a solution, you want to think of things like the document architecture, the content types, metadata. You want to think about the search architecture. You want, if you're deploying teams, you know, how are we going to organize my teams? How am I going to organize my SharePoint sites? How about the channels and the tabs and the apps within the team? So there's a lot of planning that should be done up front when you're doing your Microsoft 365 implementation. Second is the technical and business governance. I'm not going to overkill that because I've already talked about it many times, along with the security and compliance behind it. Third, the migration strategy. The migration strategy is really important from a decommissioning old repository standpoint and how, you know, how we actually move the content into the Microsoft 365. Next, obviously, is the adoption, change management, and training. And we want to use all this in conjunction with Microsoft SharePoint and Teams together as your application gateway for both communicating and collaborating in your organization. I like to also use this slide when I'm talking to my customers or just trying to grasp on SharePoint and Teams and all this, and I break it down by communication and collaboration. So on the left-hand side, we've got for our root internet and functional communication site. So an example I give to my customers is as any employee, I'll use this site as a launching point to get to all of my organization's internal digi digital assets and applications and be informed of the latest news and events. So we can see that SharePoint and Teams in combination with Valo Internet and Valo Connect can meet that. And on the right-hand side, we've got project collaboration, line of business app, other team sites and teams. When I need to collaborate with a team, internal or external to my org, I'll create a collaboration team site or a team. And that could be serviced by SharePoint or Microsoft Teams. So a couple of lessons learned. Information architecture must integrate with Microsoft Teams nowadays, especially now during the pandemic where everybody's working from home and they want that one hub for teamwork. It may not always directly reflect the way your organization is structured. So you wanna let it be fluid to some extent and think about end user productivity. We don't wanna hinder them. Um, Keep top of mind things like which team sites should be backed by a team, what teams should be created initially for collaboration and conversations, um, what is the level of security needed for internal and external users and guests, where, do we, where and how do we surface the documentation, is it in SharePoint, is it in Teams, is it in a tab within Teams. Lesson number two is let's try to use Microsoft Teams as the hub for all of your teamwork. Uh, we use personal apps to expose things like Valo Teamwork, which allow us to create projects, doc, um, team sites, teams. Use tabs to expose your document libraries lists. Ensure people don't need to leave Microsoft Teams. And then use the capabilities built into the platform. Now let's actually jump into demo and I'm going to pass it off to Vlad now. Thank you very much, Rez, and hello, everyone. I'm really excited to be able to show you Valo Connect today. So here I am in Microsoft Teams, which is my hub for teamwork. This is where I talk to colleagues, work on files, even access different parts of line of business applications as tabs at the top. What Valo Connect brings to the table is first of all, a team's personal app. And now I know I'm getting into the technical details, but what that means is simply that it's shown here in the left bar. So you can sit along with your calls, chats, or any other 
tools that your admins might have put there. First of all, let me go on the homepage. So here, as you can see, I'm still in Microsoft Teams, but I'm able to access my intranet. So I can see all of the latest news, the highlighted ones, the ones that are local to me. I can see my events, my polls, things like that. I have access to the full mega menu in my organization. So really, I can access the intranet without even opening the browser. And not only a few pages, I can also get the full content creation experience. So if I maybe want to create a blog, share best practice, or I just work in HR and I love Microsoft Teams, I can create the announcements about a new employee joining next week without ever quitting Microsoft Teams. Something else that is amazing, I also have an enterprise search functionality. I mean, when's the last time you actually went to Amazon, Wikipedia, eBay, and looked for the categories? Probably never happened, let's be honest. So users love a search-based, a way to find things. And by using Valo Connect, I can, for example, start searching for Valo, for example. And as I type, I actually see the results appear. So it makes for a much better user experience. I can also have quick access to everybody in my organization. I can customize what's important for me and I can quickly say, show me everybody from the marketing department since I forgot my colleague's name from Finland. And then I can simply go over their name, chat with them via Teams. The beautiful thing about Valo Connect is that it's really in a way the last Teams app you'll ever need because you can bring in, for example, Power Apps inside here. You can bring in other applications such as Teamwork that I have here, which allows me to view all of my collaboration groups or even Valo Ideas in this case. But if you have any custom Teams apps, you can bring them as well. Now, one last thing I want to show you as I see that I'm running out of time. Valo Connect can also be deployed at the team level. So in any team that I am, I can go at the top over here and I can view the home page of that site. I can access those news. I can view the members and more. So really what Valo Connect brings to the table is that not only will Microsoft Teams become the hub of your teamwork, it will also become the hub of all your organizational communications, really allowing your employees multiple choices on how they want to consume content. Maybe some of them want to go to SharePoint and that's fine. Some of them absolutely love Teams and never want to open another browser in their lives. And this way, they can still have access to all of those company communications without quitting the Microsoft Teams application that they know and love. Perfect. Thank you so much, Vlad. Um, so I'll close off with this. So if anybody has any questions on this, our contact information for both CareerSpark and Valo is there. And um, maybe we'll pass it off to the moderator if there's any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Rez. Thank you, Vlad. Um, we do have a couple of questions for you. I'm curious, can we personalize our internet within Microsoft Teams based upon the audience that is seeing it? Most definitely. So, so Valo and the internet are surfaced up and under Teams, but really they're all configured from share, on the SharePoint side of the equation. So we could leverage the modern audience targeting capability that comes with, that comes with SharePoint Modern and use groups and all of the cool targeting mechanisms that we have there. On top of that, Valo actually has an additional capability of securing a lot of the content too, so that especially in the mega menu and such, um, you could do that on top of audience targeting. And and Vlad, would why would using Valo Connect be better than using the new Microsoft built-in Microsoft Teams embedded home site app? Uh, 
Thank you very much for the question, Kevin. That's a great one. So with Valor Connect, you're not only bringing one single page, the homepage of your intranet inside Teams. You can really bring, yes, you can bring that homepage, of course, but you can bring in that enterprise search center. You can bring in line of business applications. Uh, You can even create multiple apps that are targeted to certain people. So if you have multiple brands inside that tenant, they each their own brand or you can customize it for audience as well. And we've talked about digital workplace a lot today. And I think uh, making sure that everybody sees stuff that's relevant to them is a key part of that, of making everybody more productive. Can we integrate things like forms and notifications uh, within Microsoft Teams and Valo? Absolutely. So you can bring in uh, Power Apps, Microsoft Forms, uh, really get that advantage of the power platform and all of the solutions that you're paying for already with Microsoft 365, you can bring them to the front and center. So if somebody prefers to go to the browser, they can go to the browser. But there are so many people now that love to just work inside Teams that we wanted to give them that option of getting everything done, accessing internal comms, and accessing line of business applications without quitting the Teams interface they know and love. All right, very good. Thank you. That is Nerez Camus from uh, CreoSpark and Vlad Katronescu from Valo. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being a part of our event today. Thank you so much. Thank you.